I just spent $8 on the second night of my road trip staying at a fantastic farm just a stone's throw away from the Tortuguero River boat launch. Just another gem I found on the iOverlander app. So it's about a 30 minute drive by boat to get to Tortuguero when you're going full out. And that's what we're doing here. We're arriving just in time to toss me into the canoe and away we go. Only problem is, I really gotta pee. Boat leaves at six. If anybody doesn't realize it, and despite my wisdom teeth floating in the next few hours, I'm experiencing Costa Rica's natural beauty from a perspective I never could have imagined. With the sounds of the jungle overtaking the stress I've been carrying, suddenly it all makes sense why I woke up this morning at 3 o'clock. And for a brief moment, I forget how close I am to wetting my pants. So I just used the bathroom at the office and they charged me a dollar and didn't even have a, a toilet seat. Arriving back shortly after nine o'clock, the village is waking up and the smell of meat pies fills the air. This is something I'm 100% going to take advantage of. A little doggo wants some of my empanadas. Oh my God. After being fed and watered, it's time to say goodbye to my new doggo friends and take a water taxi down the river to witness the park from a different perspective. Cerro Tortuguero is a short hiking trail that leads up to a gorgeous viewpoint. Bye-bye, Dixon. This is the best. And it has some awesome wildlife along the way, like this doggo and this little scorpion. Jeez, it's a big spider. Stretching just 390 <laughs> feet tall, Cerro Tortuguero is the highest point along Costa Rica's Caribbean coast. That is an amazing view. I'm the Johnny Ape and this is Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica. Ah, the world is yours. From the lookout, I spot another little village. Only a 10 minute hike from the viewpoint, San Francisco feels like a hidden gem in the heart of nature. Only 4% of people visiting the park each year, I quickly realize that I am the only explorer in this little village. Oh, my boat should be here pretty soon. If you don't want to get up this early in the morning, there is the option of boating to Tortuguero later in the day and spending the night. There's the captain of the vessel, Pura Vida. Regardless of how you plan it, I highly suggest you get a hold of Dixon with Pavona Jungle Expeditions. Dixon is an outstanding guide, and he is more than just passionate about the park and his role in sharing it with all of us. Yep, eyes. Crazy.